we're going to do a little demonstration here. Down on the ground you can see the results of some of my work I've been doing. Shut off the interface. And here at the tower I'm currently making. It's just a straight block of cubes. You can see number one. And we're just adding them one on top of another, straight up. This is just like Space Engineers. But then I'll show you something that's not like Space Engineers. We're going to start building the blocks out to the side. Now with Space Engineers, you do this and you can continue forever. Let's see how many of these we can do before something happens. Yeah, we're quite a ways out here. Obviously you know I'm expecting something to happen. Oh, there it goes. You can see the connection to the ground broke and now it's all collapsing. So, this world I built has the structural integrity option enabled and I think that's what that means. Now here's my other uh, mode. I'll show this. This is called dynamic mode. And see I have a block selected. When I put it down it doesn't stick to anything. It's not mortared to the other blocks. So if I put one above it, it just sits there. And it just opens. It cracked a little as it landed on top of the other one. You see I can't stick it to one on side. But I can put it on top. It's like a giant game of Jenga. Oh no! That's And that's the big pile I got going. You can go for a while here. I'm not quite sure what dynamic mode is intended for, except because the blocks don't stick together. You can build objects that will sit on top of other objects, but could, for instance, be dragged by a rope. That's, of course, a problem in Space Engineers. Anything you put on top of anything else attaches to it with a few certain exceptions. So there's my little Jenga pile that fell over. <laughs>